one of the joys of Passover this year was spending a couple of days not checking my phone, not seeing any news. When I came back online after a joyful and fun story, I saw protests at many universities and many of them were overtly anti-Semitic. They claimed to be pro-Palestinian or anti-Zionist, but they were anti-Semitic. Whenever you have a group of people chanting, burn Tel Aviv, that's anti-Semitism. If somebody wants to burn a primarily black city to the ground or black neighborhood to the ground, that's racist, that's anti-black racism. If one wants to burn a predominantly Hispanic neighborhood or city to the ground, that also, good indication that somebody is a bigot. The same is true for Tel Aviv. When people chant in support of Hamas, that is not pro-free Palestine. Hamas doesn't allow Palestinian women to own property. They're not about freedom. They're about power. So pro-Hamas demonstrations are people saying that Hamas's fight is our fight. That's a sign that somebody does not support a free Palestine because Hamas does not support a free Palestine. Even the idea, and by the way, I support a free Palestine. I'm happy to be pro-Palestinian. I would love to see a Palestinian state or entity of some sort living side by side with the state of Israel and the fact that Hamas is the most popular group amongst Palestinians right now and the PA is weak. It doesn't seem to be an option because sadly Hamas is dedicated to eradicating Jews and not to a free Palestine. Look, if it were high school students, I'd give them a pass. College students, not so much. They're able to know better. Know that these groups, anyone who stands idly by, we know that they're bigots. It's a sad thing. And Passover is a time traditionally when in medieval Europe, Christians would bring a blood libel against Jews, that Jews used the blood of a Christian child to make matzah. Jews, of course, never did this, and all Jews knew that fact. Here, again, we have a blood libel being brought against the Jewish state. It is a grim thing. We should call out this sort of bigotry and understand that bigotry has no place Anti-Palestinian bigotry has no place, anti-Arab bigotry has no place, and anti-Jewish bigotry has no place. It's just like all other bigotries. I don't know why I have to say it, but there are people at elite universities who promote this bigotry and tolerate it. It's not acceptable. And we as Jews have to remember that our core story is that we fight against tyrants like this, and we stand up to them, and we don't cower. Shabbat shalom.